Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gary Duboff here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the M1097 with the AN slash TWQ-1 Avenger. The Avenger Air Defense System designated AN slash TWQ-1 under the Joint Electronics Type Designation System is an American self-propelled surface-to-air missile system which provides mobile short-range air defense protection for ground units against cruise missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, low-flying fixed-wing aircraft, and helicopters. The Avenger was originally developed for the United States Armed Forces and is currently used by the U.S. Army. The Avenger system was also used by the United States Marine Corps. So yeah, a uh, really interesting vehicle, a pretty good sized missile system mounted on the back of a Humvee. I think uh, this is a really cool model of it and probably one of my favorite variants really of the Humvee kind of show its versatility that you know it, it, meanwhile it can be a troop transport um, but it also can carry a you know missile uh, defense or, or an air defense system on it which is pretty cool. So a uh, really cool mo looking model here and it's going to make an awesome addition to maybe any of your forward operating bases or convoys or just anything really like that. It's pretty much a really good versatile vehicle and will make an awesome addition to any of your modern uh, battlefields or anything like that you guys got going on. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and kind of dive into taking a look at what we got exactly going on here. Um, as you probably saw already, we have a tutorial for the M1097, which is basically the standard pickup truck version. So we're kind of piggybacking off that design and very simply just putting this uh, basically Avenger missile system in the back of the truck with a few changes here and there to it. Uh, I do think the design itself came out really good and the missile system, you know, does actually fit pretty good in here. Definitely a little bit of a weird challenge building at a even number with it, but I do think that uh, the overall outcome for it was definitely pretty good. So anyways, that's pretty much the overview for it. Um, we have obviously the missile systems here, different uh, radios, all that stuff. And it's also equipped with smaller uh, cannons here, I believe probably 20 millimeter cannons if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, looking awesome looking vehicle, pretty cool little uh, anti-aircraft type design. And um, with that, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer here, we're going to be starting with layer number one. For layer one, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a block of coal like so, followed by a lever coming off of it like so. We're going to go ahead and skip two spaces from this block of coal and place down a second one over here, dark or er, uh, lever like that coming off of it like so for the front. With that, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak or trap door, come off those two levers like so. And then going back from it, we're going to go ahead and take our nether brick slabs, and we're going to place down a row of two of nether brick top slabs like this, followed by a birchwood trap door to both sides. From this, we're going to place down a nether row of two of nether brick, followed by a second row of two, and then two smooth sandstone blocks here to both sides. We're going to go ahead and place down a nether row of two of nether brick uh, top slabs, followed by a birchwood trap door to both sides. And we want to go ahead and then place down a block of coal to both sides with a row of two of narrow brick top slabs across in between those blocks of coal. On the back here, we're going to place down a row of two of sandstone top slabs, followed by a birchwood trapdoor coming off both sides of those two sandstone top slabs. And we're also going to place down two birchwood trap uh, two birchwood trapdoors coming off these two sandstone top slabs like that toward the rear. And then we want to place down black banners coming off these two trapdoors here like that. And with that, that is going to pretty much wrap up what we have there for the chassis for layer one. We're going to go ahead and move into making these banners real quick. Um, as I kind of showed in the previous tutorials, it's a pretty good, nice little design here. Um, you can use birchwood buttons, you can use stone buttons, uh, you can use the banners here. Um, I think the banners look the best overall for the wheel design, so I definitely recommend them. But uh, if you want to, you can just use buttons and they'll work just as fine. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to move in real quick to show you guys how to make the banners if you do choose to use them. And... Um, with that, let's move on to those banners. I right, guess to make these banners real simple, we're going to go ahead and go into our loom. We're going to place down a gray banner in the banner section, then black die in the black die section. We're going to go ahead and do a black border that goes around your banner like so. We're going to grab the banner, put it back into our table or our loom here, and then we're going to go and do a line of black die across the center like that. So we kind of get this eight looking that type of design. We're going to go and grab this banner and we're going to go to the sides here of these blocks of coal and we're going to place down this banner like so. And it kind of creates a nice looking design here for these um, wheels. So uh, yeah, definitely recommend using that. You can also change the color to yellow, which uh, may match the tan a little bit better. But there are plenty of pictures with the Humvees with like these dark gray rims. So kind of up to you guys, whatever your preferences are, which you like the best here. But uh, that's what we're going to go ahead and go with for this tutorial. Anyways, that's it for layer one. Let's move on to layer number two. I guess moving into our next layer, we have layer number to layer two to start off with, we're gonna go ahead and take our dark oak wood fence gates. We're gonna place down two dark oak wood fence gates across these two uh, 
dark oak wood uh, trapdoors. And then we're going to place down an end rod to both sides of those two fence gates. From this, we're going to go ahead and place down two looms on top of these levers, like so. And then we're going to place down an upside down stair coming off those looms there to the sides. Item frames on the sides of the stairs. And then in the item frames, we're going to go ahead and place down a snowball, just like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then take our smooth sandstone. We're going to place down a row of four across, like so. We then want to place down a birch wood plank to both sides. And then we're going to go ahead and place down another row of four of smooth sandstone full blocks. And on both ends of the smooth sandstone full blocks, we can place down a trip bar hook. From this, we're going to go ahead and take our nether brick. We're going to place down two nether brick blocks here in the middle, followed by a birch wood trap door opened up and out like that to the sides. We then want to place down a row of two a smooth sandstone full blocks, followed by a sandstone upside down stair to both sides. And then this section here, we're going to place down a row of four of smooth sandstone blocks across. Item frames here on the back with red stained glass blocks in those item frames and birch wood signs on the side of the block like so. And also on the corners here, we're going to place down a keisha wood button like so. After that, uh, we're going to take our birch wood planks, we're going to place down a row of two across the back here, and then we're going to place down two trip bar hooks in those two, our rock coming off those two birch wood planks for a little storage box in the back here, probably for uh, ammunition or something of that sort. Anyways, that right there is going to complete layer two for the build, pretty straightforward stuff. With that, let's move into our next layer, layer number three. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, we're going to start off by going ahead and taking our birch wood trap doors and place down one and two across the top here, followed by a row of four directly after it. From that, we're going to take our light gray stained glass. We're going to place down a row of four of light gray stained glass across, followed by a light gray stained glass pane on both sides, and then a dark liquid sign like that on both sides. After that, uh, we're going to take our smooth sandstone blocks. We're going to place down a row of two across the middle here, sandstone wall to both sides, and then we want to go ahead and take our black concrete. We're going to place down a row of two of black concrete across, followed by a wooden ladder on both sides of these black concrete blocks. We then want to place down a row of two of smooth sandstone blocks, followed by a lever to both sides. We're going to go ahead and then take our stripped birchwood planks, or birchwood logs, we're going to place down two like this across, followed by a birchwood sign on both sides of these blocks, and also some birchwood buttons coming off those two blocks like so. And that right there will complete layer number three for the build. With that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer. Layer number four. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and begin with, we're going to place down two birch wood trap doors in the center here, followed by a birch wood pressure plate to both sides. From this, we're going to go ahead and take our sandstone slabs. We're going to place down a row of two of sandstone slabs across, followed by a row of two of polished andesite full blocks. We then want to go ahead and take our smooth sandstone. We're going to place down another row of two like this across. And then in the very back here, we're going to place down a narrow brick wall to the left side, and then a narrow brick fence post over here to the right side. For the cannons here on the sides, we're going to place down an anvil on top of the lever, followed by a wither skeleton skull going forward, and then an end rod like that. And then on the other side of the anvil, we're going to place down a grindstone like so. On the side of the anvil, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign. And over here, same thing, anvil, uh, grindstone coming off the anvil, wither skeleton skull, and uh, end rod going forward, dark oak wood sign on the side of the anvil. One thing I'm going to go ahead and also add in is the ejection ports here for the guns. So I'm going to go ahead and place down an iron frame on the side of the anvil and a black bed rotated on its side like so. And we'll have that on both sides just like that for those guns. Anyways, that right there is going to complete what we have here for layer number four for the build. With that, we're going to move into our final layers, which are going to consist of layers five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to put the top here of the whole system on and the uh, basically everything else. So with that, let's move into our last final layers, five through eight. All right guys, going ahead and moving into our last final layers, five through eight. To begin with, we're gonna take our uh, polished slabs. We're gonna go ahead and place down two polished slabs on top of those two smooth uh, sandstone blocks. We then wanna place down an end rod over here to the right side on top of this narrow brick uh, wall right here. And then we wanna place down a iron bar on top of it. Uh, if, and actually, sorry, a second iron bar as well. So two iron bars going up. We're then going to go ahead and go to the air side here. We're going to place down one, two, and three end rods going up, and then a iron bar on the very top there, like that. After that does, that, after, or after that's done, we're going to go and then grab our stripped birchwood. Uh, we're going to place down a stripped birchwood uh, log here. Make sure it's on its side so that the texture goes this way, and it's going to be on top of that nerve or that wither skeleton skull. We then want to place down a trip or oak wood trapdoor to both sides. A 
uh, line of uh, birchwood buttons wrapped around these stripped birchwood logs. Then going back from them, we're going to place down one and two. Let's move sandstone blocks, one and two. And then we're going to go and wrap it around the sides here, like this. And then a oak wood trap door, or trap door closed on both sides like that. And with that, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layers 5 through 8. And with that, that is going to complete my design for the M1097AM-TWKQ-1 Avenger Anti-Aircraft System. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this design, I do, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. Uh, this is going to be anything from putting this on the build, to link on my channel, or if you do it, this does a pretty social media site. As long as you guys give me credit for your period to use the proper projects you guys are working on. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary204, and I'll see you guys next time.